three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. When the U.S. government decided that they wanted to go to the moon, they started by putting a team of scientists together and gave them a common task of how would you get to the moon. It was a goal that people might have thought was impossible, but with the right resources and the right team of scientists, they were able to achieve wonderful things. And the fire team is a lot like that. The FAST Fire team is a group of scientists from diverse research backgrounds that work collaboratively to find a cure for Angelman syndrome. Each of the members has been trained in a very different environment and a very different discipline. And so uh, we all have unique perspectives on the way we approach science. And I think we've made uh, a lot of gains and progress because of the feedback that we get from each other on almost a weekly basis. The more science starts to look at cognitive disorders in general, we find that there's a lot of overlap. This is profound. This means that any treatment that we come up with Angelman syndrome could be expanded into a lot of different cognitive disorders, including Alzheimer's disease. Getting the opportunity to interact with the, the families and the individuals is probably the most rewarding aspect of, of, of what I do. You have to understand that as a scientist working in a laboratory with mouse models for all these other disorders, a lot of times you may never meet anybody who has that disorder. You can see what effect you would have not only on the patient, but on the family. It gives you a drive to keep going because you have a connection now to the goal that you're trying to achieve exciting developments and discoveries that have been made in the last three or four years are directly due to the support of the parents. So, you know, in essence, I'm working for the parents of the children with Angelman syndrome that are supporting FAST and supporting the research that, the, that FAST scientists do. Cure used to be a four-letter word that people didn't really want to say because they didn't want false expectations. But now it's a reality. What we really want to do with that and how we think we can get there is by helping to fund the science that we already know works. We have the goal. We know what to do. There are three ways that you can come up with treatments for this disorder. You can either turn on the paternal gene and reactivate it. Uh, you can do gene therapy or protein therapy or you can come up with therapeutics to overcome the absence of that particular gene. So that, that, that path is clear and more funding would just make that journey shorter. I really think there is a, a feeling of hope and a reason for hope. I mean, there's so many things happening now in this community. I mean, with the research that's being done, with the pharma companies that are coming in, I mean, there's a momentum and the momentum keeps building. I believe that a cure is on the horizon and we are working hard towards this goal. I am very confident that we will discover or develop a new therapy that uh, treats Angelman syndrome. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think that we could.